This is the story of a humble but a great man who dedicated his life to the service of humanity. He was one man, but he was the world to me. He was fountain of love not only to me, but to the whole of humanity who came in contact with him. He was embodiment of servitude and righteousness. And yes, much more. When he came into my life, I was only four years old. My name is Pyara Singh, a name which he gave to me. I remained alive solely because of the love and dedication of him. His life is the story of thousands of people like me who have been touched by his love. He picked us up from the heap of societies discarded and yet the poor, the disabled. In us he only saw the face of the true God. But to me he himself was a God. He was a spiritual giant. This is the house he built, an everlasting testimony to his compassion. It is called Pingalwada. The founder of the house was Bhagat Puran Singh Ji. In his house were those discarded by society, the masses whom Bhagat Ji loved more than anyone could love, even more than one's own family members. Pingalwada translated literally means the house of cripples. I would like to explain how this idea of building the noble place came to Bhagatji. It was when he saw that the discarded souls needed a permanent place to live. Before this, he tended to the sick and crippled on the roadside. He used public and railway station washrooms to wash the wounds and dirty clothes of the sick. Bhagat Puran Singh was born in Rajiwal, a village in Punjab in 1904. His mother Mehtab Kaur was a child widow from a poor family. She named her son Ramji Das. She had been married to Chibumal, who was a widower and well off. He had two children from his previous marriage. However, before they married, Mehtab Kaur had to agree that she wouldn't bear any children. And so she had to abort three pregnancies on her fourth pregnancy, she pleaded with her husband to let her keep this child. She promised that the child would make no claim to the wealthy husband's estate. Thus was born Ramji Das. Ramji Das's mother influenced his young mind with spiritual and moral values. She would narrate to him the pious and legendary stories. One story she told was about Lord Shiva, who before going off to sleep always ensured that no one on earth remained hungry. 
She would also narrate the stories of Dhrupagat, Raja Bhartri, Hanuman and Pagd Prahlad. These stories instilled in his mind the importance of being a good human being. She encouraged him to provide water to animals, plants and to trees, to offer feed to birds and to protect the beasts of burden by picking up thorns and stones from along the trails. She instilled in him a sense of performing noble deeds. His mother planted a triveni, three trees, neem, bohar and peepal. Ramji Das learned well and gradually became a beacon of compassion for all God's creation. From an early age, he paid regular visits to holy shrines, regardless of their religious affiliation. I am Pyara Singh and I would like to tell you how I met this great man. In November 1934, I was abandoned by my family at the main gate of Dera Saib Gurdwara in Lahore. I was four years old. I was mute, mentally impaired and physically deformed. After the death of my mother, no one in my family could take care of me. So my uncles brought me to Gurdwara and abandoned me at the gate at mid of night. The head priest discovered me there and asked Puran Singh if he would look after me. Puran Singh did not hesitate for a moment and took me under his care. He named me Pyara, the loved one. And from that very day, we were inseparable. He carried me on his shoulders for the next 14 years. This victim of the manner in which he carried all the elderly, the infirm, the disabled, the crippled and the sick on his shoulders for getting them treated. He did not consider me a burden nor an obligation. I was the symbol of his love. It was not an easy task since I was helpless. My hands and feet were lifeless and I was always on his shoulders. Affectionately, Pagatji used to describe me as the garland around his neck. Whether he knew it or not, I understood his every word. Pagatji lived 